In 2019, Heimer unveiled a vehicle called the Vision Venture. Thanks, I think, to some people on YouTube who were claiming it was a motorhome which was available, people started asking about the price. This was a project, not even a prototype, but guess what? They've actually gone and done it. Well done, something similar. It's not quite the same, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Unfortunately, I haven't got the vehicle itself in front of me, but I will have in a couple of days' time. So treat this one as a starter with uh, some information. They just held a press conference on it, and so I'm now going to give you some of the information from the press conference. Now, the Vision Venture, when it came out, had all sorts of futuristic looking things, one of which was uh, what it called its unique instant loft. That is to say, a tent in the roof. Uh, this was a pneumatic pop top roof, which uh, includes a integrated staircase as well as a tailgate now what was interesting of course about the tent in the roof though was that this did have what seemed to be pretty serious insulation properties i don't know i haven't slept in it but uh, it did seem to be that way rather than most tents in the roof which have next to nothing now, the, uh, another thing which it has, uh, it has a real glass uh, screen uh, offering 180 degree panoramic views and uh, the sun deck, uh, which uh, it's not the first vehicle to have a sun deck. I don't know what it's called when it's raining. Maybe it's called a rain deck. Uh, but this rain deck, that's called a rain deck, um, uh, this uh, has been done in other vehicles in expedition vehicles but, but never in a vehicle really of this size now um at the time when this first thing came out uh, i mean clearly it was just a it was it was a project but it was a project what they said camping would be like in 2025 anyway uh, so let's have a look at this one here this is the heimer venture s off roader and so um so this is designed for two people and it's got a compact uh length as you can see it's quite the vehicle body itself is quite narrow now um it has a uh, chassis from Mercedes-Benz. It's got all-wheel drive, studded tyres, and it's got quite a good colour scheme. At least that's my opinion. You might think differently, but you've got two choices of colour, which are stone grey or sea blue metallic. And um, uh, this uh, adorns both the bodywork and the cab. And it's got this honeycomb design graphics as well, which does make it look rather futuristic and cool. If you think that a honeycomb looks futuristic and cool, that is to say. And I think certainly this, I'd have to say that uh, seeing as this is now getting built, this is, in my opinion, the most um, futuristic, the, it's a revolutionary uh, RV that I have uh, seen. And uh, so Heimer thinks it offers the highest standards of comfort, design and functionality. Uh, well, let's see if you agree with that, because actually I'll tell you up front, I don't. Now, the uh, living room uh, is uh, certainly the highlight. It's got this real glass infinity screen, which surrounds all three sides of the rear seating area. And this would offer very nice views for you to enjoy the uh, rain outside. It also would flood the interior of the vehicle with daylight, just the job when the weather's as hot as it is now. Uh, in conjunction with the felt look wall covering, it creates a rather harmonious interior ambience. And when not in use, the adjustable table with its solid bamboo tabletop can be folded up and stored underneath the belt beat bench seat. And in fine weather, if you live somewhere where you have such a thing, then the open tailgate of the Venture S expands the living space opening up uh, to look a little bit like a yacht. Uh, the sun deck of a yacht or that uh, caravan thing that uh, Knaus did a few years ago that also had a sort of a sun deck at the back as well. Uh, now for sleeping, um, 
well this has this is the the odd thing out now uh you're gonna have to sleep in the roof the tent in the roof but it's got a uh, powerful compressor which uh, pushes the uh, uh, roof up and it inflates in less than three minutes and protects the user from noise light and temperature differences whilst one sleeps thanks to an innovative two chamber system then the firmness of the mattress can be even individually adjusted using an app the comfort stairs as Heimer calls them the stairs up to the roof and the tent in the roof but uh, in, uh, allow easy ascent and certainly this is far better than using a ladder and can be used also in the dark uh, thanks to illuminated steps what's more the compartments integrated into the steps give you additional storage so I think that this is quite um, a positive uh, feature and as far as the kitchen's concerned uh, there's a sort of thing you'd expect in most um, in camper van this kitchen it here's got uh, um, matte black fittings it's sent to pieces the multifunctional wall which allows you to customize the available storage space in the form of hooks shelves and containers a drawer with storage for a chopping board extends the kitchen work service uh, all the all provisions and utensils needed for onboard catering can be stored in the storage system. The uh, interior design um, uh, uses interior, uh, innovative materials and um, the object of which says Jaime is to maintain the balance of function, appearance and weight. For example, the metal surface of the worktop surprises, uh, or surpri yeah, well, probably will surprise us, uh, with its soft feel and matte finish, which prevents glare when driving. Uh, the uh, uh, furnishings used are resistant to fingerprints and scratches and the tile backsplash is made from a solid surface composite made of powdered stone or based on powdered stone rather it's individually uh, indistinguishable from normal tiles in the terms of its look and feel so I suppose maybe that does a little give a little bit of style if that's what you want to there is a shower inside so it's got uh, and the toilet and the bathroom are together the toilet can be ceramic as can be the wash basin there's a mirror with built-in cupboards it looks a bit like slate inside uh, the vehicle has 120 liters uh, in its freshwater tank uh, so uh, the, now one thing which may be of interest these days is how I'm able to work so to just have a home office concept uh, it, the, the desk uh, is integrated into a side wall uh, behind the passenger seat. It can be set up as an individual workstation uh, under the flexible skylight, creating an environment for uh, doing whatever you have to do on your computer. Uh, the uh, very good feature here is three 115 watt solar panels on the roof and uh, six uh, 230 volt sockets and eight USB ports. Uh, there are 230 lim uh, ampere hours of lithium batteries as standard and so that would really last quite a long time. Um, I can say in my case uh, I, I'd have a little bit more but I'm actually self-sufficient from March until October so um, with uh, careful use using uh, inverters uh, that might just be okay. The um, there is multimedia, so it's got, for example, a uh, Sonos smart speaker that can be flexibly attached to the wall panels, and uh, there's a projector screen wall mount. Uh, that's an option that for Heimer vehicle for the first time, although it has been done by Rapido and probably others in the past. Uh, there's uh, reading lights and um, other other lights, so you can actually get uh, 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 the lighting you want. Uh, thanks to Heimer Connect, you can use your app uh, on, on the smartphone to sort of turn things on and off and see what else is going on. Now, how much is it going to cost? That's the thing I uh, don't know. I can tell you it's going to be a lot, uh, but how much is a lot? I don't know because they didn't say. But as soon as I find out, this will be written in the uh, comments uh, below and also in the description. There's more information in the description. Thanks for watching and I shall, as soon as I can, I'll upload a video.
of the real thing and not just pictures.